Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 15th of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals for market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand? Uh, basically, the Asian markets certainly routed overnight. Again, concerns uh, the Hang Shanghai down almost 2%, Hang Seng Nikkei down quite. Uh, drastically as well. Uh, US equities certainly holding their own, still remaining strong nevertheless, and European markets certainly have taken it in their stride. Now, we are now potentially seeing some sort of reconciliatory remarks now. Um, basically, we have the Turkish president saying we'll continue with the United States if it shows constructive stance. Uh, also, we'll continue to talk with, that, with the Germans and the French. So again, this certainly seems like some sort of reconciliation here. Uh, we have had a situation in Italy with regards to that uh, potential bridge, you know, bridge. Uh, cracking and that certainly has raised concerns with regards to budget deficits again uh, whether or not obviously this so-called um, uh, frugality um, and uh, certainly cutbacks as well whether that's working and again that raises a debate with 37 36 people killed us so really sad news there so again Italy certainly remains a current turn Turkish lira certainly contagion certainly has been uh, quelled now and certainly neutralized Mr Erdogan certainly doing a good job there uh, in terms of the the markets and the market expectations. So Lira route obviously has been stemmed and it certainly has been stopped and it's in reverse now. Lira certainly is strengthening. So given the fact that we've had these reconciliatory remarks, again, that certainly is bullish news as well. That certainly helps the markets from that perspective too. Okay, in terms of uh, inflation numbers for the Euro UK, certainly coming more or less in line. Uh, again, really the only real bearish factor is Asia overnight. So uh, given the fact that, that potential Chinese stimulus has certainly failed, to certainly come into effect as well. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal again, signals and market updates from leading providers. Download the app, the Google Play, and the Apple App Store, and be sure to visit tradesignal.com. Okay, now in terms of the technical picture, let's see exactly where we are. Uh, the German DAX certainly gapped higher, uh, again, ignoring Asian markets. Uh, again, how, how long does this last? We are now into gap fill. Let's see if we can hold this potential gap fill and start to push higher. We are building a base in the German DAX around the 12300, so if that holds, markets certainly remain bullish. And the daily chart again you do have an unfilled gap at 12 to 40 so bear that in mind as well and then multiple unfilled gaps above okay in terms of the french cac let's see exactly where we trade here again going lower uh, but base certainly is being built the base you've got double bottom support around the uh, 5390 zone you do have gap fill up 5380 so bear that in mind as well in terms of the FTSE 100 here certainly is being flush in the back of uh, copper copper weakness continues okay Okay, so copper weakness certainly continues. FTSE now coming into support now on the 60-minute chart at the moment. Let's see if we can hold this key support level here around the 7582 zone. 10-minute chart certainly is flushing as well. Uh, let's move on to the daily chart. The daily chart has key, key support here now around this zone here around the 7576, 7580 zone and looking to potentially hold. We failed to hold a FIB 75%. We seem to be oscillating between this 7800 zone now and between 7500. Let's see if we can hold. Okay, so that's the status quo in terms of the uh, European markets, really. Uh, markets flushing on the back of China, uh, Asian markets overnight. The uh, contagion really has been uh, quelled now in terms of Turkey, but the focus remains on emerging markets and the spillover certainly effect there. Mr. Trump's so-called uh, fiscal stimulus, obviously, and obviously the Fed, yeah, certainly hawkish as well. Uh, that certainly is causing the financing uh, uh, concerns regarding emerging markets and obviously liquidity there as well given the fact that they've leveraged quite substantially. So it certainly seems to be unwound at the moment, and the negative factor certainly is coming into play. So Mr. Trump's global growth uh, sort of strategy certainly is, seems to be collapsing, uh, and let's see if that can continue. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of that bonus, and make sure you download the Trade Signal app. Goodbye now.